Hello, YouTubers. The new time travel Jaime 88. I'm back with another video review, and today I thought I might going to do another comparison video. Today I had two different versions of E.T. the Extraterrestrial. Well, the same movies, two versions of it. I meant, and for those who don't know, never heard of the movie. E.T. the Extraterrestrial is a great movie of 1982. Um, this review requested by Caleb Azermeyer. If you don't, those who know who don't, I mean, who those of you who don't know who he is, make sure you check out his channel. And uh, Mr. Azermeyer, I wish you do some reviews, your video reviews of your collection videos, one day. Anyway, uh, let's take a look over here to the uh, v the cover itself. Um. Let me switch it around so we can see better. All right, that's better. Um, here we have the original 1988 release, and here's the um, alternate poster to cover uh, from the 1996 release. And here's E.T. the Elliot. I mean, E.T. and Elliot flying the moon, uh, similar to the Apple Entertainment logo. On the cover on the right, it shows E.T. holding hands with Elliot and the glowing light coming out of there and here's E.T. the extraterrestrial and the glowing logo in the background here's Earth orbit the original has the bushes um, it has the MCA home video logo on the right it has the MCA universal home video and does have the THX logo on there but this release does not Similarly, the 1988 and the 1996 reprint has a similar reprint. Mm -hmm. The bottom word says, a story that touched the world. Uh, the other one is together, so kind of different. And it mostly it says stereo, but this one's recorded on a stereo surround. PG logo is on the front, but this is not on it, it's on the back. Let me show you the spine. So you can see in a better view. Yup. Kind of different. The THX high five, but this one does not it does not. It's recording on Dolby Surround Stereo, but this on, on stereo surround. I want to show you the back. All right, let me zoom in real quick here. You can see they're different. This has the barcode right here, but this does not. The MCA home video logo, and there's the MCA universal home video. This one does have some different blurbs. Let me show you, let me read you guys some. It reads, Steven Spielberg's heartwarming masterpiece of love between a young boy and a visitor from another planet has quickly become the most popular film of all time. Filled with unparalleled magic and imagination that made audience around the world laugh and cry. E.T. the Extraterrestrial follows the moving story of a little lost alien who befriends a 10-year-old boy named Elliot. While E.T. learns about life on Earth, Elliot learns the friendship knows no earthly bound overflowing with memorable performances and a stirring musical score and scenes with wonderment E.T. invites everyone to share the thrills of its magic touch and it's more than a movie it's an experience that you never forget and let me show you this one the different bird it says here one golden summer a lost little visitor from another planet found a permanent home in the hearts of mind of audience around the world. Steven Spielberg and Emily Entertainment advise you to experience the most popular films of all time. Held by the New Yorkers as the most moving science fiction movie made ever. When a lonely 10 year old Elliot meets the lovable alien who just wants to find a way home. 
the lives of both are changed by the friendship that no, no earthly bound. Earning Oscar for a sterling musical score, glorious and sound and wondrous special effects. This captured the classic efforts everyone and embraced the magic touch. And now, behind the scenes footage and all new E.T. retrospect featuring interviews with Steven Spielberg, Drew Barrymore, and Harry Henry Thomas, and more members of the cast production team make the film more exciting. Nominated for nine Academy Awards, including Best Picture, E.T. is a thrilling, joyous adventure that the entire family will cherish forever. <clears throat> All right, now I'm going to show you guys um, the V8, the stick, the tape look like. And here we go. Okay, guys, and this is what the tape looked like. This came out tape with a sticker label, and this, while this release has the ordinary ink label, and has the universal holographic sticker in the first release, and here's the end label right here, and it appears to be a print date, September 4th, 1988. But on this tape, this does not have print date. No print date on this one. It's kind of ra rare that Universal put out some print dates. Mm-hmm. And now, I'm going to show you what this tape on both tapes have. On the 1988 release, he has the FB 1980 FBI warning screen, then followed by the MCA home video logo, and the Universal 1972 1963 Universal logo variant in backwards. On the 1996 release, it has to stay tuned for some retrospect featurettes. Then the 1991 FBI warning screen, the MCA Universal Home Video logo, the THX logo, and the Universal 1963 variant logo backwards. And at the end of the movie, on this tape, it does have the Amblin Entertainment logo on the 1988 release. But on the reprint release, it does not have it. Well, I'm gonna. That's it for this um, comparison video. And to get a shout out on my next video, comment down below telling me what is your favorite science fiction movies, and you'll probably get a shout out. This is the new time travel Jaime eighty eight saying goodbye for now.